Hello everybody. Today we're going to cook some soft shell clams, AKA steamers. I've made two videos on how to dig steamers and I have not shown everybody how we like to prepare them and eat them here. It's very basic. Welcome to the great state of Maine. This one here is for Eric. He's the one that asked me to make this video to show him how we cook them and how we prepare them and eat them. So if you've ever come to Maine, New England in general, we have what they call a soft shell clam. It's different than a cherry stone. It's different than a little neck. You have to steam them in water, very basic, very easy. Oh, five, 10 minutes, depending on how many you have. Today, I have three pounds of steamers. Perfect for me. Uh, I like them, so I got myself quite a bit. We'll steam these for about five minutes. We'll check them to see if the shells have opened. And then I'll show you how you prep them to eat them. I have a feeling a lot of people want to try them, but don't eat them because they do not know how to cook them and prepare them for consumption. So don't be afraid. They're super easy. Two ingredients, water and butter. That's all you need. So three pounds of steamers. I have a small sauce pot here. I have it filled up with water up to my first digit. So just about an inch of water in this smaller pot. I'll put that on the stove and I'll get it boiling. So these I bought at the Lobster Pound. Our flats are closed right now in the area due to some extremely high heats and I think the bacteria level is a little high. So. These are sourced from up Maine a little bit farther where it's still kind of cool. They have been cleaned, washed, thoroughly soaked. I do not need to do anything else to them before I eat them. One thing I do advise you look, you just make sure they're closed and they're tight. No cracks in them. Every now and then you'll find one that has a crack and you know, you might not want to eat them. And after you've steamed them, if there's any in the pot that have not opened, you do not eat those either. Cold water seafood tends to be, to me, better than warm water seafood. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I've lived here now in Maine for 40 years. I moved from Florida. I love all seafood. Don't get me wrong. Waiting for the water to boil. As soon as it's done, we'll set these in the pot. We'll steam them for about four to five minutes. I'll check them, see if they're open. If not, it could go on for a couple more minutes. Also, what we're going to need is a water strainer, a ladle. And I'll show you why in a minute. I have three tablespoons of butter here that I'm going to melt in the microwave when this, the clams are almost done. And one thing I've heard, I'm not so sure if this is true or not, but I heard the Canadians like to put a little vinegar in their butter. I love vinegar. I add about a tablespoon of vinegar to my three tablespoons of butter. If you're going to order steamers alongside your lobsters, I would say if it's your first time ever eating them and the first time that your company's ever eating them, your family, I would just stick to one pound, maybe two pounds per person. The water is boiling away on the stove. I'm going to add three pounds of steamers. So you can see, I'm not quite covering them. That one inch of water, when you put the three pounds of steamers in there, just come up almost to the top. That's perfect. I'm going to put the lid on them. I'm going to set a timer for four minutes and check them. I do not add anything to the water. It's just fresh water. I don't put salt. I don't put Old Bay, lime, lemon, nothing. Just water. I heat my butter slowly in the microwave, 10 seconds at a time. 
Okay, so I've checked the steamers at four minutes. They're boiling, almost boiled over. Another reason why you gotta watch it. They're looking good. I'm gonna let them go for about a two more minutes. So about a total of six minutes on the three pounds of steamers. See how they've opened up. I'm just letting them cook a little bit more. Don't overcook them, they'll get rubbery. I got my buddy here, Trudy. She's awake from her nap and she's wandering around. So if you hear something off camera, it's probably her getting into something she shouldn't be. Let me wash my hands. Turn off the stove. So what we'll do now is strain this water because we're going to keep that water and use it. Have my melted butter with my vinegar. So I have my steamed clams that are all open. This is the next thing that you probably didn't know about steam clams. We'll take this water. Now it's all salty and briny, has flavor. We'll call it a broth now. A couple ladles of water for everybody's bowl. And you would serve, let's get rid of this bowl. This is how you would serve the steam clams. Just in a bowl like this with some melted butter and some rinsing water. When you get them at a restaurant, they're gonna be served to you like this if you order steamed clams. You take the clam out of the shell and then it has this little brown, blackish membrane on the top. You peel that off. Now you have a little morsel of goodness. Now you rinse your clam in your broth, shake it around, get any little sand or debris, mud off it, and dunk it into your butter, swirl it around. Mm-mm. I love that sweet, salty, briny taste. I love the butter and vinegar. One thing about eating a lot of seafood, dunking your lobster, your clams in butter, it can get filling. So that's why I like to cut the butter with the vinegar. If you've eaten too much, some people call it a food coma on Thanksgiving. We call it butter gut when you've had too much seafood in butter. I guess what would be appropriate for this nice lunch that I'm having today on a hot summer day, some shipyard summer ale, brewed right here in Kennebunkport, Maine. It's awesome beer. It goes good with warm steamers. It's a summertime ale. These steamers are about the perfect size that I like them. I don't like them too small and I don't like them too big. So here we go again. This odd little, I don't even know what it's called. Just grab onto it, comes off easy. Discard of it. Wash your your clam, Dunkin' Butter. So I hope this helped take the fear out of cooking and enjoying such a delicacy. I mean, I, I enjoy steamers more than I do lobsters. Lobsters is a lot of work for the meat you get out of them if you're doing it yourself. If you go to a restaurant, my tip is to order a lazy man lobster. 
it's all prepared for you, cracked, cleaned. Pay a little extra, but that's that's my pro tip. Especially when you go to a restaurant, you got nice clothes on. You really don't want to be putting lobster juice all over you. So please come to the great state of Maine, enjoy some lobsters, order a peck of steamers. Now you can eat them, show off to your friends, you know how to clean them, cook them. And this is the most basic way to enjoy a steamer, uh, a soft shell clam. Thanks for being here. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And if you like clams, little necks, cherry stones, you'll love steamers.